George's opposition is in a buoyant mood. Led by this enigmatic billionaire, Bidzina Ivanishvili, and armed with money and influence, the Georgian Dream Coalition's popularity is giving President Saakashvili nightmares. Things started looking bad for the government after this. Leaked by the opposition, two channels aired distressing videos showing prison brutality, including rape. Saakashvili fired ministers and arrested guards, but the damage was done. Many Georgians are disillusioned by the heavy-handed tactics of this government, but also the disastrous war with Russia in 2008 and high levels of unemployment. There's no doubt the numbers of people here today have been swelled by those videos. Tanya says she's voting for Georgian Dream because her family is really struggling. They wanted democracy, and look, now we have got democracy, but 10% of people live okay, the rest live in poverty. If one person works in their family, they are lucky. Not everyone is so lucky. But under Saakashvili, a new generation is growing up free from petty corruption and organized crime. Dance teacher Georgi says Georgian society has changed in positive ways. Saakashvili has done a lot of good things for us. There's no more theft, the whole country has electricity, there are amusement parks, schools have been renovated. President Saakashvili calls the opposition a gaggle of pro-Kremlin populists and reactionaries. Voters may back his United National Movement party, fearful about a return to the past. This election looks like a genuine contest, but with emotions running high and both sides calling each other criminals, there's a danger the battle won't end at the ballot box. Robin Forrestier-Walker, Al Jazeera, Tbilisi.